It's nothing, really. I just need some time to think. We're moving out of the house? Please, just don't. Hey, did, you, did you go to the cottage? Yeah, I went. Yeah. Well, obviously, JR must have said something or did something to make you this upset. I have to go. Hey, Marissa, come on. I can't talk to you about this, OK? I just can't. You can say anything to me. You know that. Not this. God, you deserve so much better, Scott. We both do. Please tell me what happened. They were there. At the cottage. Jair and Annie, I saw them together. You know, I'm... I'm glad this happened. What's that? You mean finding out that Scott stole Palmer's invention? I doubt it. No. I mean, how we handled it. It made me believe maybe we could actually be something I never thought possible. Yeah? Friends. Real friends. You think that's in the cards for us? It can be. Friends. We want the same things, remember? Our future and our families. And you were able to look past what Scott and I did and see how we can all benefit. And I thank you for that. I'm sorry. I don't usually get so mushy. You're being honest. It's refreshing. Good. Well, hopefully some of what I said made a difference. So now you might be able to realize what it's been like for me. To be so deeply in love with someone I can't let go without a fight. Yes, David. That I do understand. Yes, what is it? No, it's okay. It's all right. Thank you for calling me. What is it? That was the hospital. I asked them to keep me up to date on Ryan's condition. There's been a change. Why can't I see him? Because he needs his rest. I don't understand. An hour ago he was fine, and now he's not? What, oh boy, was it another end? Yes, I, can't, I can't get into this with you at the moment. He's being monitored, okay? And he's in really good hands, I promise. Thank you.